Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So first I want to say happy Monday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings and please y'all watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Dolph trial started today and um, a lot of information is coming out that, you know, we didn't know. They kind of kept away from the public. Um, the tapes. Yes, y'all, they're showing Dolph walking into Makita's. They're showing, you know, what looks to be Stray Drop and Cornelia Smith and whoever else was with him um, running up to the window. Um, they're showing the inside of Makita's cookies when, um, you know, the, the person that was waiting on Dolph ran to the back when she saw the people coming up to the window with their weapons. Like, they're showing stuff that, you know, they should have showed in the first place before everybody and the witnesses and the this and the that and people and the rumors start spreading about this and that and that and this. Um, this would have saved a lot of a lot of speculations, a lot of people lying and a lot of bloggers being sent information. This would have saved a lot of that stuff from coming out and everybody saying, oh, you know, because I even, a lot of the bloggers receive information saying that, oh, Dolph, car was there overnight and all of that stuff so now it's they're showing what really happened this and that and that and this okay y'all um also another thing that people was you know everybody was looking at Dolph brother like wait a minute Dolph brother seemed like something ain't right about this situation okay especially when they had witnesses saying that he was hitting in the air and this and that and, that and this so now we're finding out that that was not true as well because he actually hit one of the hitters. Cornelia Smith was hit in the shoulder by Dolph's brother when he was hitting back at the car when they was trying to get away. So it's a lot of stuff coming out that, you know, filling in a lot of blanks that um, needed to be filled. Um, one thing that's, this is my personal opinion, for surely sure that they are doing right now is trying to clear your guy's name too. That's what I'm getting from this as well. And I'm also getting, you know, Big Juke was taken out, y'all. He was taken out so your God, you know, could be free. That's what I'm getting from this case already. Already. I don't think it's going to be a long trial. I really don't. Um, unless and Straight Drop just realized that he has been cornered. And he's going to take the biggest fall of them all. And everybody else is going to walk. So once that hit him, then maybe he's going to talk more. Um, I don't know, y'all. Right now, it just seems as if he has, he's the fall guy right now. And they're not caring about the people over Big Juke and all of that stuff. Because this wasn't all Big Juke's idea, y'all. I, I clearly feel like this is not Big Juke's idea. They're trying to put everything on Big Juke, saying that Big Juke... You know, put the hit out on Dolph and offered a hundred thousand dollars to whoever take him out and this and that and that and this. But the thing of it is, Dolph wasn't a threat to Big Jug. He was a threat to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti did not want him around. And the hate that you know um Yo Gotti had for Dolph outweighed the hate or whatever differences that um Big Jug had with. Dolph. So, you know, it's a lot of lies going on right now, y'all. It's just, it, it doesn't, a lot of stuff don't make sense as far as them trying to clear everything, you know, steer everything away from Yo Gotti. As if Yo Gotti had nothing to do with nothing. Okay, y'all? Um, another thing that I am realizing as well, um, Makita's Cookies, y'all. Makita's Cookies, they trying to clear their name as well. 
And on top of that, they waited till their anniversary to do Dolph's case, which is stupid because they act, they, they are surrounding everything around Makita's and making it look as if, you know, um, they're, they're, they're constantly advertising for Makita's instead of letting this be about Dolph. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Because right before his case, you know, the news people was coming to Makita's talking about it's their anniversary and all of this stuff. And they're making this whole trial out to be more about advertising for Makita. So I, I, it's a lot that's going on that's still weird right now. Why is Makita's pushed up to the forefront over Dolph? You know, it just don't even make sense, to be honest with y'all. Um, Raven, she put out that video with her artist acting as if the Dolph was tied up and this and that and that and this. She did a lot of stuff to taunt Dolph. She did a lot of stuff to taunt Dolph family, Dolph fans, to make it seem as if, you know, oh, yeah, we did tie him up in the back and it is and it that and it that. Um, it was a taunting. And why? What was the purpose of that to taunt him? Now, I'm not saying that Makita's them is still clear of this mess because she did put out posts saying that every time Dolph come to Memphis, he makes sure he come back here to Makita's Cookies. So, of course, I think people were going to be staking out um, Makita's Cookies to see if Dolph was going to show up there or not. And the fact that she reposted it again right before and right around the time that they were planning on taking Dolph out. So, the, you know, this was posted by, you know, authorities and stuff that, you know, that they made plans for the take Dolph out around certain months. And her post went up around those certain months too. So I still see, I, I still don't see where they're just leaving Raven out. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And acting as if she had nothing to do with nothing. Okay? So it's still a lot of cover up going on right now. But they try to make it look as if it's just a clear um, thing as far as Big Jook is the one that put this hit out. Um, Stray Drop is the one of them that just, you know, carried it out. And that's it. It's more to the story than that. And I'm going to say this as well. What was the purpose of making a deal with Orange Brown Quet if he wasn't going to do anything? Why is he out if he was the mastermind in this whole thing? Why is he out? He should be locked up too. Like, when they first let Stray, not Stray Drop, but Orange Brown Quet out, they said that they were letting him out because more arrests was coming. There were no more arrests. There were just people's passing. It was like they let him out and he let everybody know who was snitching and who they had, who said something, who was going to probably tell on higher ups. And it seemed like he came out and cleared, you know, the path so that people that really was the people behind the whole situation could get off. This is what it looks like. So it's a lot of stuff coming out right now that um, is filling in the blanks that people did not have. So, you know, rest in peace to Dolph. And, you know, we're going to continue watching. They are on break right now. So we're still waiting for them to come back. At, to, they said they won't be coming back till 1.15. So I have to just jump on here and let y'all know what was going on. But, yeah, his brother did let off a round. Once somebody did catch one. And that was Cornelius in the shoulder. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff coming out right now. People were saying that, oh, they was hit, he was hitting up in the air. And it just, he wasn't even trying to hit the cars. So it made it look as if, you know, he was a part of the play. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff coming out right now that needed to come out back, back way back. Why was people so quiet? I just don't understand why everybody was so quiet. Even if people was lying on them and stuff. Everybody was just so quiet and letting, you know, the rumors fly and this and that and that and this. So that part I don't get. I don't understand that. Because anybody else, their brother would have been taken out. Everybody, they would have been all over the place. Like, uh-uh, ain't no way in the world. They finna get away with this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I was not hitting in the air. You know what I'm saying? Even if he didn't know he had hit somebody, it still would have been somebody saying something. You know, it was just a lot of quietsy going on. And I'm still feeling some type of way about that. Duff had a lot of family. He has a lot of family members. And a lot of people been quiet. A lot of people been quiet. And the people that's been running their mouth been lying just for clout. Just like Raven. 
You know what I'm saying? Acting as if, you know, she was throwing people off from what really went down. So, you know what I'm saying? She was throwing people off from some stuff and making people run with those narratives of them, um, you know, taking Dolph and this and that and that and this. A lot of stuff that's been coming out is because they wouldn't release certain things. If they had to just release a little snippet of Dolph walking in two, they didn't have to show him getting taken out and this and that, but they could have just showed Dolph walking into the cookie shop. And what if people would have went after Raven now? You know what I'm saying? For the stuff that she was even posting. She was pushing those narratives too, which make you wonder why. Was this to take, you know, attention off of your gaudy? Like, what was the purpose of that? Or just jumping on? Your family already made money off of Dolph's passing at that cookie shop. So what was the purpose of you getting a, you know, an artist and then y'all doing a video and, you know, all of this stuff? What was the purpose of all of that mess? It doesn't make any sense, y'all. It makes no sense that they wouldn't release that little snippet of him just walking to the door. That would have cut out a lot of other stuff, the other the stuff that was going around. So just stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. We 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 still watch it. Straight Drop looks very worried. He looks like he is a goner, and he is. He truly is. There's no way in the world that Straight Drop is going to get off from this, especially when Cornelius um, is working with the people too. The person who got hit in the shoulder, he's working with the people. He told them that Straight Drop and him did it. If he admitted it. That, that that's them on the tape. How can he fight this? There's no way in the world that Straight Drop can be like, oh, he lying, that wasn't me. This guy said he, he pled guilty. And he told on Straight Drop. So this is a lose-lose situation for Straight Drop, to be honest. But the thing that everybody in Memphis wants, really, is the higher-up justice. The people that put this play in motion. And it wasn't Big Jug. It wasn't, y'all. Now, he could have been somebody that helped play the part in planning, just like Orange Mound quit. But that order, my personal opinion, came from higher up than Big Jug and higher up than Orange Mound. It came up from higher ups, okay? And the higher up from them is your Gotti. Your Gotti is attached to, you know, somebody that was trying to work a deal out with Jay-Z, allegedly. With Dolph and Dolph turned down a twenty million dollar, Yo Gotti didn't even have twenty million, so we know it was higher than Yo Gotti, that they were working as a team. But you know we gonna we gonna see y'all. We gonna see what they gonna put together to try to clear Yo Gotti's name. And y'all, what about Black Youngster? What about his car? What about all of that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Every his. The, the coppers in this, y'all, it's a lot of stuff that is not being presented, but it, we just getting started. So we're going to see if they even going to bring up Black Youngster. Is he still going to be covered? And I know y'all heard by now that the guy that allegedly took out Black Youngster brother, he got taken out too when he was released or something. They took him out too. So is Black Youngster just going to keep running around Memphis, taking out whoever he wants to? And Because word on the street is, allegedly, 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 Black Youngster took this guy out that took his brother out. So it's it's a lot going on. We're going to stay tuned and see what Memphis is going to do. But it looks as if some people are going to be cleared of this and they are going to blame all of this on somebody who didn't pass away and to me he was taken out for that purpose so stay tuned we are we already said that part that is you going to give up is the mama going to give up one son or both sons you know what i'm saying y'all and which son is she going to give up she's going to give up the one that's making the money well the problem child Give up the problem, child blame, everything on him. The money keeps flowing through your body. So I'm just saying, y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.